People ask us a lot of questions about performing restorations because that's what we do here day in and day out. And if you look at the front of this Buick, you can see a series of factory resistance spot welds. And the way these were made originally is this giant clamp came through, crushed this, and it sent electrical current through it, and it produced these dimples and welded the panels together. And that's tricky to replicate in a home garage because, you know, the equipment to do this takes up this whole room. So when you repaired one of these panels at your house, you normally drill these spot welds out, remove the panel, put the new one on, weld up the holes and grind it flat and it doesn't have this appearance. But there are a couple ways with a couple of neat tools from HTP that you can use to put this look back into the panel. This is the HTP Quick Spot 2. It's a portable 220 volt resistant spot welder. It's kind of a neat deal. It's got some weight to it because it does a lot. Um, but it's not something that requires a special stand or anything else. And the way this works is you take your pieces of steel, there are a variety of different shaped arms to allow you to get into different parts of the car, uh, but for this example, we're gonna use a couple of pieces of steel that are just free because it's easy to do. And uh, there's a side panel over here that shows the different power settings and weld times, and you just kind of follow directions to set it up similar to what you have place it in here, squeeze the trigger, and it's going to do its magic. The cool thing about this is that weld, it's a small little spot, but that is stronger than the material that it's made out of. And we have some footage to show you. There's a couple of tests. One uses a, like a tuna can opener thing to peel it away, and you can see it tear, and the metal tears before the weld does. Another test that's used is a hydraulic device that actually stretches the metal apart before the weld breaks. So it's pretty amazing to think that this little tool will kick out 6,000 amps of welding power and the small size allows you to get into wheel tubs, quarter panels, floor sections, just about anywhere you need to be. Now for something a little more industrial, HTP makes the VersaSpot 7000, which is another 1,000 amps of welding power, but the big difference is it's got this remote clamp welder device, and it uses pneumatic power, you can hear the air whistling, to clamp the jaws. You don't no longer need your hand strength to do it, and this will provide almost 300 pounds of clamp force, and it works the same way, but now you just push a button. So the VersaSpot 7000 basically does the same thing as the Quick Spot, but you can see here that the dimple is a little bit deeper because of the increased clamping force from the pneumatic jaws. This looks a little bit more like the original machine did back all those years ago. You can learn more about the HTP Quick Spot 2 and the VersaSpot 7000 at their website, usaweld.com.